Sight Jefferson Airplane visits American Bandstand today. From Hollywood, it's time for America's favorite dance party, American Bandstand. And now, here he is, the star of our show, Dick Clark! Thank you, Charlie. Bless you. Nice to be with you. That's right. Charlie mentioned it. Probably the most talked about group in the whole wide world. The Jefferson Airplane will be here today. We'll be talking to Otis Redding and a special visit with Mark Lindsay to see what he does when he has spare time, if and when that thing ever happens. But right now, a message from a new barbecue sauce with onions from Heinz. Let's open with Tammy Terrell and Marvin Gaye. <laughs> Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell here. May I have your name and age? Hold on a second, Otis, if you will. Theo Stain, 16. Thank you, Theo. Hang on. Before we get to you, Otis, let me ask you one question, if I may. This, by the way, is Otis Redding here on the line. How long have you been in the music business? I've been in the music business right now, I think, for about uh, five years. All right, let's let uh, Theo ask the rest of the questions. Question number one. Otis, how did you like your recent English tour? Uh, it was, uh, it turned out to be better than we thought it was, was going to be. We had uh, turn away crowds every night, and I was very surprised. And uh, the English fans are great over there. All right, question number two. Did you bring back any English clothes? No, I do not like the English clothing. Uh, I wear a certain type of uh, English jacket on stage all the time now, but... It's not made in England, it's made in American. It's American-style English jacket, you know. <laughs> Question number three. Do you produce any records? Yes, I'll have a hit that I produced, uh, which calls Sweet Soul Music. And on all of my records, I produce all of my records, too. I uh, uh, go in and do the arranging of them. Okay, last question. Your new record, Shake, sounds like it was recorded live, was it? Shake was recorded live in England, in London, at the uh, Old Dean Casino. But uh, we just wanted to just uh, give the people a little chance to know what we do live. Otis, let's listen. Otis Redding, thank you ever so much. Once again, here's Dick. 
Thank you, Charlie. In just about three minutes from now, you'll meet the Jefferson Airplane. A little bit later on this afternoon, we'll be talking to uh, perhaps one of your favorite disc jockeys and visiting with Mark Lindsay at his leisure. Right now, let's look at the top ten situation with Elvis in the number ten spot, the, the Turtles preceding, and then there's Tommy James. The Happenings, Paul Revere and the Raiders in the sixth spot, Engelbert Humperdinck, no less, in number five. And in 4, 3, 2, and 1, it's Neil Diamond, the Mamas and Papas, the Young Rascals. This is the number one song. That's Aretha, and here's Tommy James along with the Shondells. comfortably seated and ready to go. You ever been to San Francisco? Yes. Did you like it? Yeah. You know, that's the, the most unusual thing. I've never yet run into anybody who ever had anything uh, derogatory to say about the place. Everybody who goes there falls in love with it. But there's a whole new scene now in San Francisco. As they say, this is where it's at. That's where everything is happening. And we're going to talk to some people who are making it happen, as a matter of fact. They probably, as I mentioned before, the most talked about group in the whole world at the moment. A little controversial, very interesting sounds, tremendous hit makers. This particular album from which this selection comes, I think, is, uh, if it's not the best-selling album of the day, it's awful close. It's certainly in the top two or three. It's uh, from the surreali Surrealistic Pillow, which is a mouthful to say the least, ladies and gentlemen, with a thing called White Rabbit. Let's greet the Jefferson Airplane. <laughs> you 
That's the first of two from the Jefferson Airplane. This has got to be one of the most unique and unusual recordings ever because it appeals to all different kinds of people. People of all different age groups. One of the biggest sellers everywhere in the country. Before we talk to them, let's ask them to do one more and then we'll chat a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, again, the Jefferson Airplane. <laughs> Would you, as the only lady member here, introduce me to the gentleman, if you will, starting, uh, I guess, what'll it be, clockwise, I guess. All right. Jack Cassidy, bass. Hello, Jack. Marty Ballin on piano. Hey, Marty. And a f Paul Kantner on rhythm guitar. Thought you forgot his name for a minute. I did. The man behind you? Is Spencer Dryden. Spencer, right, and over here? Kalkinen. How are you? You're the closest man. How do you do? How do you do? You know, I told you this would be impossible. Do you know how much time we have to inter do an interview with yeah, six people? Right. No? One and a half minutes. Why did music such as you just performed happen in San Francisco? Because the, I think the part of it is the promoters gave us the freedom to uh, write our own material. Right, let me skip along. I'll try and get as many questions in as I can. Older people worry. They see the way you're dressed. They hear your music. They don't understand it. Do parents have anything to worry about? Uh, I think so. Their children are doing things that they didn't do and they don't understand. Yeah, <laughs> all right. That's a square answer. If you gave $100,000 in cash to a hippie and you said you got to put a suit and tie, cut the hair, shave the beard, and go to work five days a week, would he take it? Oh, why don't you ask me? <laughs> <laughs> would it happen? Well, I, I can't answer for another hippie, but uh, I guess ideal, idealistically it shouldn't happen. All right, fair enough. How much time do we have? One minute? What can you do with a minute? dance, sing. What's going to happen this summer in San Francisco? Uh, well, I couldn't even begin to tell you in an hour or so, but there are going to be a lot of people there. And uh, How many would you guess are going to congregate? Uh, somebody said 100,000, but I don't know whether this is correct or not. 
The establishment's going to get a little stirred up over that. Gentlemen, you won't feel neglected if we don't hit over there. Thank you ever so much. Thank you, Grace. I'm sorry we've got a scoop. We'll catch you in a second. Right. <laughs> I don't know where the time goes, but it sure does fly away. Keep in mind, next week here on American Bandstand, you'll meet the new Raider, Fred Weller. Uh, I think Mark Lindsay will be here to do the introductory honors. Uh, question Mark will be aboard. Hope you have a good week in the meantime. We'll see you one week from today. For now, Dick Clark. So long.